Hi all, welcome to today's uh, video. My name is Anna and thank you so much for finding time to join me today. So today I have a very, very horrible voice, but I have a topic that I think we need to cover today. And today I'll be talking about uh, learn the art of self-love because self-love covers, quote unquote, a multitude of sins. <laughs> self-love covers a lot and I think it's important to cover this topic we live in a world where um, we hear a lot of voices in our heads we hear a lot of um, voices that can be quite conflicting in what we stand for and our upbringing our you know our experiences when we were growing up our childhood experiences experiences later in life our schooling and our relationships down the track may have uh, put a dent in our, in our self-love and we may have gone through situations that were not ideal and um, that may just have, you know, uh, destroyed us a little bit or given us um, a sense of, you know, self-doubt, self-doubt and a lot of, you know, um, not a strong, strong uh, confidence in loving ourselves as they are. And I think um, in this, you know, um, current situation, current generation where the internet is always telling us this is how you need to dress, this is how you need to look. Um, uh, TikTok is always, you know, showing, you know, this, you know, um, specific, you know, how people need to look like. And some, you know, some, some, some of us are way, way, uh, you know, far from the ideal, but I guess um, we still love ourselves the way that we are, not because we shouldn't, no, but just because the society has brought in this thing of like, oh, you're not good enough, you are not worthy enough, you are not um, acceptable enough. Uh, so you may have so much thrown your way, negative talk from you, even your very own, your very own family. People may have put bets even on your life to say, oh, look, let's see, she will never make it. Oh, let's see, she will never come out from that difficult situation she's been in. She's been a failure over and over. And that may have just eaten into, you know, your confidence may have eaten into, you may, you may be feeling this, this um, doubt upon, you know, just, you know, and your image as well, both um, physically, mentally as well, and even spiritually. So today I just want to talk to somebody that is in that space or somebody that has self-doubt here and there, that we can actually learn the art of loving ourselves again and, um, you know, and being the best that God has ordained us to be, being the best that the uh, world would want us, you know, to be able to participate and to give back to um, those that, are, that we love and those that are around us. So, um, yeah, you do not have to necessarily feel less deserving of the blessings that you have, less deserving of what you hold dear on to just because somebody has mentioned something along the way, somebody, you know, you may be graduating today and still, you know, you can hear those voices of the people that have said, oh, she will never make it, she'll never get a degree, she will never go far and stuff like that. But sometimes looking, you know, looking squarely at yourself, you realize that, you know, uh, even despite having attained all that, you still are not, you still are lingering on that side of not loving yourself enough. Okay. So in this video, I'll essentially be talking about um, learning the art of self-love, learning to value yourself again, learning to, um, you know, to see yourself the way that you're supposed to be, to be comfortable in your own skin, to be comfortable in where you are, both physically, both emotionally, and also um, spiritually as well. So very important to learn the art of self-love. So the first thing that I must mention is we need to learn to look at us, the person in the mirror. The person in the mirror is who we are. You know, the person in the mirror may have faults that we can see even ourselves. The person in the mirror may not, you know, have all the qualities uh, the world has said uh, you should have. You may not have the qualities that you, you yourself even want to have. But I think a good starting point is always where you are. You can never start tomorrow. Whatever journey that you have to start with, you have to start today and now.
because tomorrow is never assured, but today is assured. Yesterday is gone. There's nothing you can do about it. But today and now is an opportunity for us to start all over again. Look at yourself in the mirror and see a canvas, a clean canvas that you have the ability to paint the strokes of life the way that you want to. Um, do not paint your new canvas based on what people are saying. Do not do that based on your past experiences. Very, very important to look at yourself in the mirror and say, this is what did not work in the past and this is not what we are going to draw as we, even as we start the next phase of our lives. You actually need to make friends with the person that you are. You need to make friends with who you are, with all your faults, with all your shortfallings, with all the things that you do not think are good enough. Because I always say our stories, our backgrounds, they have a role to play, but they do not necessarily define where we are going. They mark, they act as a way for us to see where we've come from, to look back in the mirror and see where we've come from, but they do not necessarily have to negatively affect where you're going. In fact, they need to give you the lens to see where you really want to go because you do not want to make the same mistakes you made in the past. So look at the person in the mirror, realize that that's what you've got to work with. You cannot work with somebody else's body. You cannot work with somebody else's skills. You just have you. So that's the first place that I think I must insist. Look yourself in the mirror, realize that this is who you are. This is what you've got. And you can only work on it to either get better or to sink back to the places that you do not want to be. So you have a new, new opportunity today. You have a new opportunity today to learn the art of self-love, loving yourself again, picking up yourself again, trying again and again and again until you reach where you want to be. All right? So do that with all the things that you may not want to see still do it, you know. You may not see the calves that you want to see if you're somebody that's hoping to get more healthy and more fit. You may not see, you know, the beauty that you want to see, but I am a believer this this beauty in all of us. We all have we all are beautiful in our own ways. But look at yourself and give yourself an opportunity to start again. Okay? Number two is honor yourself. Honor yourself and nurture yourself in your very own way, okay? By honoring yourself and nurturing yourself is you are giving yourself an opportunity to learn something new. Look, if you're wanting to get more healthy, obviously you need to um, nurture yourself in a way that you need to get off the couch. You know, you need to do small little things, small little deposits that are going to eventually work towards you getting more healthy, Okay. If you are, you know, somebody that has sort of been hurt in a relationship and you want to now start loving yourself more, being aware of who you are, learning new things about yourself, it may just be an opportunity for you to pick up a new hobby. It could be just journaling. Every day you write in your journal that one, two, three, and four, things that come to your mind right in there so that you strike out the negative things and you dwell on the positive thing. It may be learning how to crochet. It may be learning how to, you know, to join a social group that um, is doing the things that you enjoy doing. Find something that will give you purpose, something that will, out of your normal you know, don't just say, I will go to work. Find something that is going to nurture you in a way that um, that will build you up again. Because remember, self-love, we need to start seeing ourselves in a different, different lens that we have seen ourselves in before that wasn't right. So get out there, pick something that you actually enjoy doing and run along with it, okay? Number three that I must say is very important is have some form of affirmation. I know a lot of people that talk about daily affirmation. I am somebody that would say regular affirmation, 
okay? It does not necessarily need to be regular, daily I mean. It does not necessarily need to be every morning, every evening. But my belief is at some point you will have to affirm yourself. You may actually, you know, people do it differently, okay? I don't have a particular way of doing it, but I know a lot of people that will have something pinned on their bed. They wake up in the morning and say, girl, you're beautiful. Girl, today is your day to manifest. Get out there and, you know, do it, you know. People, you know, affirmations that will remind yourself, no, you can do it. You are well able. You are confident. You are beautiful. You are smart and stuff like that. When the negative voices start to speak to you, if you haven't you know, learned the art of affirming yourself and speaking positivity in your life, you may actually dwell back. As soon as that voice in your head starts saying, oh, you're not good enough, that's why you don't have friends. Who said that? You know, um, <clears throat> as soon as, you know, those thoughts in your mind saying you're not good at the job and stuff like that, the affirmations that you have is you are well qualified for this job. You've done so well in the past. You've gotten people saying thank you for what you've done. It does not necessarily mean that when your boss, you know, it's very, very important to differentiate the voices that will come into your head because those are the things that will come and eat on your art of loving yourself, of building yourself up again, of picking yourself up again. So very important to find some form of affirmation, whether it is daily, whether it's every time or every um, at every stage of your day and stuff like that, whether it's weekly, whatever it is, have some positive talk that you do tell yourself. One thing that I've found very helpful for me in discovering myself, in learning, you know, to love myself more is the art of journaling, uh, you know, just journaling and writing in there, you know, your good days writing in there and saying, look, um, I did well today. I manifested in the following ways. I brought change to in my space. You know, my, my girls were happy about this appreciated I'm a good mother and stuff like that you know so when doubt comes in then you can remind yourself look no I am actually a good mom I am a good friend I am beautiful I am a child of the living God I am fearfully and wonderfully made and all those affirmations that you have around you will just naturally come in because you are so used to exercising them using them all the time Okay, this goes hand in hand with, you know, exercising some of the CBT skills that once you start hearing those negative voices, you start sort of telling yourself, Anna, breathe, do not um, concentrate on what is happening around you, breathe through it, think through it, take a walk, walk around, come back, you know, and just sort of find a way to numb the negative voices because they will always be there. There will always be something and someone that looks a little bit better than yourself. There will always be somebody that's more um, well-placed in society than yourself. There's always something that will come in and knock you off your, you know, your balance um, in life and knock you off the standing that you thought that was solid and it wasn't. And when that comes, it's very, very important to learn, you know, ways of um, um, diffusing those thoughts and diffusing those situations, okay? Number four, it's very important when you're learning the art of self-love to surround, with like, surround yourself with like-minded people. And at this point, I must say, it's very, very important to choose your friends wisely, to choose the people that speak into your life wisely. There's no point in learning to speak good to yourself, yet you're surrounding yourself with people that belittle you, people that see you only as, um, as um, a mean person, people that are looking at you and thinking, she's not good enough, she's a pretender, she's like this and like this, yet you are learning to build yourself up. Remember, remember, some people will attack you, not because you're really bad, but because they lack what you have. So it's very important, very, very important to realize the circle around you. Someone once said, show me your friends and I will know, um, show me your friends and I will know who you are. 
Okay? Show me your friends and I will know who you are. If you have friends that are always throwing away negative chatter, if you have friends that are always, you know, seeing and belittling other people, if you are around uh, somebody that, you know, the vibes are not right, it's probably about um, time to sort of, you know, especially if you're in that stage where you're learning, you're still learning the art of self-love. Because if you've already have that self-confidence in yourself, self-love in yourself, it doesn't matter what somebody will say to you. Because guess what? You know who you are. You know what you stand for. It doesn't matter what they will come and say in your face because at the end of the day, they are entitled to their own opinion. They are not going to change who you are. In fact, whatever they say will just, you know, affirm and remind yourself on what journey or which, um, on what position or platform you're at. I would probably say it's not ideal to hang around people that you're always tiptoeing around. A friend is somebody that you should be able to share your mind. You should be able to share your struggles with. And you should be able to tell them, look, I am, you know, I am working on building my self-confidence and my self-love. Hold me can accountable. Remind me when I'm starting to have that negative chatter, when I'm starting to withdraw away from people. Remind me that, Anna, you are this. Anna, you are this. Those are the people that you need to surround yourself with. Those are the people that you will need to surround yourself with that are making you accountable. If, let's say, like point two, you decided that you're going to start going to the gym and becoming more active, these are the friends that you will need, people that will remind you, and I'll call you, oh, did you go to the gym, or do you want us to go together, do you want us to go for a walk or not, and stuff like that. So those people will help you build your self-love and your self-confidence that will help you along the way. And if they are not doing that or you're getting people that are just, you know, negative, 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 it's not worth, you know, um, that journey of life, and that season of life that you're in. I am a strong believer of friends and seasons. I am a strong believer that God allows people in our lives for a reason. And I am a believer that at every stage of your life, at every season of your life, God will provide people to walk with you. Okay, do not hang on to a friendship that was supposed to be temporary. Do not hang up around a friend that was supposed to be a transition friend because that's what, you know, um, God allows in your life. You know, he will allow you people that will walk with you when you're broken. Allow people that will walk with you the entire yard. There will be friends that do you have them since you were a kid and now you're an adult, you're still friends. But the people that obviously will come along your life in certain stages of your life that somewhere down the track, they will, you know, you, they will drop off and they'll drop off and they'll do. And that's okay. That's completely fine because that's what friendship is all about. Friendship is about a, a, um, loving another person, being there for them, and when it's time for that person to move on, uh, uh, allowing them to move on and cherishing the memories that you shared, cherishing the friendship that you shared over life. So um, acknowledge that and, and, and live with it. As a last reminder, when you, we are in the art of self-loving ourselves, it may sound very basic, but let me uh, just say it here. Learn to dress up in comfortable clothes, you know, things that you feel really comfortable in, you know, especially if you are working at loving yourself in the area of body image, it's very important to look at what you're putting on you, you know, I know people that obviously, <laughs> my niece loves perfume, you know, people that, you know, love perfume, it's use it at that point it's gonna boost you know how nice you feel about yourself if you feel like tights don't work for you you don't have to wear tights if you feel like a crop top is not for you that's okay i mean it may be the in thing you know like you know gen z's it may be the in thing now wearing you know buggy pants and stuff like that if you don't feel right in them do not do it because remember you're you whatever works for you Whatever acts for other people may not actually work for you. So it may sound very little and basic, but one thing I've found is I want to look at myself in the mirror 
having dressed up and feel good about myself because that will allow me to walk out in confidence and continue building on my self-confidence while out there because I will know I am appropriately dressed. I am happy with how I look. That's going to go right into my mind and whatever goes into your mind, obviously, and whatever that is in you is what will come out. You will only serve what is within you. Okay, so as we learn the art of self-love, let's exercise grace. Let's give ourselves grace, grace to make mistakes, grace to fall, you know, and give ourselves enough grace to allow ourselves to get back on our feet and to keep going. Even as you discover yourself, remember you are beautiful. Remember you are a child of the Most High and remember that you've got this. God bless you. Thank you.